giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hi everybody, I'm Don West and welcome once again to Mediacom News Leaders. We're joined now by Larry Peterson from Habitat for Humanity and the Restore out on South Scenic. Larry, welcome back to you. Don, thanks for having me back. I'm starting to feel like Don Rickles on the old Tonight <laughs> Show. I mean, I'm coming back so often, but I sure do appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Well, we're wrapping up the uh, Women Build project that uh, yep. got uh, finished in early May, and it was a huge success. Well, you right? know what? We First of all, I want to thank all the folks that, have, that came out and volunteered their time and their energy and their talents. The, the house is looking beautiful. Um, the, the, the Junior League, all of the folks at the Junior League that put in their their hours and and wore the pink shirts and came out and, and helped us out there and our, our corporate sponsors like Lowe's and those folks and, and anybody who had a hand in it and we're really excited because in a couple of weeks or around the middle of May we're going to actually have a celebration for the completion of the construction and then uh, we're looking forward to the home buyer being able to move in a little bit later after we after we finish the celebration so thanks to, thanks again to everybody out there the house is on the north part of town right it's up in our legacy trail subdivision which is up near Dickerson Park Zoo mm -hmm. and uh, we've got about uh, 35 to, we actually have 55 home sites up there and we, this is getting close to finishing phase two of that subdivision and then we'll we'll look at starting phase three here shortly. Habitat for Humanity uh, builds homes for people who otherwise uh, would not have a home to live in for That's the most right. part. Uh, how many women did you have out for Women Build? All of them, I think. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, I, I don't know the exact number, but uh, we were looking at over the total project of, of upwards of 800 volunteers. Nice. And uh, and that's really why we are able to sell the homes. We don't give away homes. As mm -hmm. you know, we sell the homes to the partner home buyers at a lower cost and a zero interest loan because of the volunteer labor that's provided. Larry, tell us about the biggest challenges for Habitat right now. Now. I'll tell you, we're having a great year. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited, but what we really need are, is to help get the word out about the program and for people who, who may not know that they could uh, qualify for a home. We need more people to come in and uh, apply and see if they could qualify for a Habitat home and see if they can uh, co uh, qualify because of income and they have to be willing to partner with Sweat Equity and then have to be uh, willing to uh, uh, pay their mortgage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then comes the work part of building the home. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes, they have to swing a hammer or work in the restore and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, tell me about uh, neighborhood revitalization in terms of uh, habitat. Well, that's really what's keeping us busy. Um, we're building homes, but uh, people ask me how many homes are you going to build this year, and really, we're not in the home building business. We're in the people helping business. And neighborhood revitalization means that we go in and we work with folks who normally couldn't afford to maybe have their roof fixed or their deck repaired. Or or their windows replaced and things like that and for a much lower cost than they would by doing it through a normal repair service or themselves if they if they're unable to we can work with them and we contract with people and uh, and do those projects and we're looking at doing between 120 and 130 of those projects this this year which our year will wrap up at the end of June and and that's about um, twice what we did two years ago and we only did about 20 a couple of years ago so that's really become our huge focus and a great uh, resource for Habitat for Humanity is the ReStore out on the South Scenic across from Horton Smith Golf Course. You can find just about anything that has been donated for a much cheaper price than you would get it uh, new at a retail store. So that's a great money maker I'll tell for you. you. And we, we want to thank uh, Kelly. We just got a, uh, Kelly Green Apartments is renovating. So we're getting uh, refrigerators and, wow. and uh, uh, um, stoves and ovens and microwaves and uh, we're the, the trucks have just been full every day for the last couple of weeks we've got some of the most beautiful furniture in the restore that I've seen since I've been there and that's almost three years so and maybe a $800 refrigerator you can get for a hundred or yeah or so pretty much right on it yeah yeah and some amazing surprises when you come out there yeah, because yeah, there's no telling what you'll find. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know. You might find the Ark of the Covenant might be out there. I don't know. <laughs> Shroud Indiana of Turin. Jones, yeah. <laughs> Larry, thanks as always for being here. Good stuff from Habitat for Humanity. HabitatSpringfieldMo.org is the website for information for this uh, great organization that builds homes for people who wouldn't otherwise be able to uh, have a home. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.